me Stephanie and this is Daniela and we wanted to present you our modern kitchen redesign. Yay. And okay, first to start we have our introduction. We already had a predetermined floor plan from our residential class and we decided to change completely our floor plan to make a more adequate space for our kitchen. So we did a, an, open, an open space concept and we resized everything from the structure. And by this, we achieved a better spatial relationship. What we needed in our kitchen space, we wanted to see the kitchen become more of a focal point in our house, more like a meeting point between the family room and the living room. Um, we wanted to be more suited for social gatherings, large or small, spacious enough for a crowd to remain intimate and comfortable in this space. Um, we also designed a central island. It provides an extra, extra seating as well as work and food prep space. Uh, there's also plenty of natural light. It's preferred as, as there's a doorway leading to the patio or an, an outdoor eating kitchen space. And we have also that. And so the original floor, floor plan, we have our cons that were lack of open spaces. Several doorways to work around and a structural, whole structural redesign. For our pros, we had a fairly large kitchen doorways that allow the kitchen to be open to many parts of the house and we redesigned the structure to achieve an open concept layout. So we did some brainstorming with Daniela and we were inspired by, by several kitchens we looked in Google and that's how we came up with our final design. For our final design, this is what we came up with. As you can see, um, we have our central island in the middle and we have a tons of space. Uh, we have a walk-in space of approximately four feet between cabinets, so that's very, very open, and our access to the patio. Um, we also worked around with our um, work triangle that it doesn't exceed 21 feet. And that's another view, the view from our kitchen, from the living room. For our kitchen appliances, we have decided to include a range hood, a, refri a refrigerator, a stove, a dishwasher, a wine cooler. The range hood is of stainless steel. The dishwasher is Energy Star KitchenAid. Um, it's also of stainless steel. The wine cooler is Siluei beverage cooler. The wrench is Samsung convention, convention electric. And the, and the kitchen sink is a cooler poise and encounter double basin. We have decided to, we have decided for all the kitchen cabinets that we are using maple wood with white with white with a white vanilla finish uh, the cabinets uh, we are having in different sizes to uh, for that will give many possibilities for a design potential uh, the, there are going to be three different kind of sizes one is going to be 30 inches by 13 by 36, another one of 15 by 13 by 36 inches, and the last one uh, also of 13 by 13 by 15 inches. Also, the cabinets will include a concealed 110 six way adjustable clip up hinges. <laughs> with a PVC moisture resistant edge tape, easy to clean. And in the kitchen cabinets, we will be using cabinet holes from the brand Style Selections made with stainless steel at 192 millimeters center to center to give it a model feel to our kitchen. As for smaller cabinets, we will be using the cabinet knobs made of the stainless steel and 3 8 inches in size from the brand Liberty. For the cabinet 
hinges we will be using stainless steel as well uh, with self close and slow close for more comfortable design and to provide a grid support to the doors for the backsplash material that we will be using in our kitchen we will use an Eden mosaic tile honeycomb uh, made of stainless steel tile so as you can see here is our final elevations of our kitchen uh, here in this picture you can see that we have lots of cabinets that provide storage also we have added a um, uh, landscape window between the upper cabinets and the lower ones to provide natural lighting and also with storage here in this elevation you can see that we have our fridge between cabinets that also are, uh, are bigger in space so they can provide store, uh, more storage here uh, is a view of the living room to the living room and you can see the view of the island uh, here we have the drawer for utensils and three equal drawers here is another view from the living room so in conclusion for our total spaces we have 44 percent of cabinetry we have 36.08 in appliances 7.42 of countertops 3.46 in flooring and 8.60 percent of other so we achieved everything we wanted from our original layout for our kitchen we have a, a more focal point for our home uh, we wanted the kitchen to be better suited for social gatherings and spacious enough for a crowd and it relates in an open space concept to our family room and our living rooms so that's it if you have any questions and thank you